you know invasive pneumococcal disease is in generally serious right? so we are talking about invasive pneumococcal so pneumococcal can cause both invasive and non uh, non invasive disease so we are taking with these uh, the vaccine formulation decisions are taken on the basis of invasive pneumococcal disease right so so this is the uh, this is the uh, the you know figure which which kind of describes okay, uh, uh, okay, what is what proportion of invasive pneumococcal disease is covered by these different vaccine formulations across the globe okay so uh, one thing uh, that you you will see here is that there can be re uh, remarkable geographic variation in terms of uh, 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 vaccine coverage ठीक है कि कौन सी जो है वो कौन सी ज्योग्राफी में कौन सी वैक्सीन ज्यादा यूजफुल हो सकती है एंड एंड देन देर इज यू नो आपके पास लास्ट जो बार है इट्स इट प्रेजेंट्स अ ग्लोबल पिक्चर सो वी सी के पीसीवी टेन एंड इन अ ग्लोबल पिक्चर कवर्स अराउंड मोर देन सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द इन्वेजिव लीमोकॉकल डिजीज राइट विच इज रीजनेबली गुड नंबर टू हैव एंड एंड दिस इज द रीजन यू नो बेस्ड ऑन डेटा लाइक दिस इट डिपेंड्स कि आपकी कंट्री का जो प्रोग्राम है वो पी सी बी टेन इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहा है या पी सी बी थर्टीन इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहा है सो दैट्स द वेरिएशन यू विच सी थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड कि कुछ कंट्रीज के अंदर पी सी बी टेन यूज होती है कहीं पर पी सी बी थर्टीन यूज होती है एंड देन देर अपकमिंग नेबर फॉर्मुलेशन विच आर यू नो कैन बी मॉडिफाइड बेस्ड ऑन दी अपकमिंग डेटा so how many of you heard about uh, uh, you know uh, herd immunity of uh, or herd effect hmm? heard about from yeah herd about hai so it's is the is the immunity which is found in the cattle yeah population yeah. of the yeah. cattle population so i thought uh, i thought you know um, uh, you know uh, many of you might have actually heard it in, in the context of covid as well yes. so what basically herd immunity means is ke it's the concept is related to the herd so uh, what happens is that the, you know the the, the the animals in a herd they travel together and the stronger ones tend to protect the weaker ones theek hai na so they you know the stronger ones are uh, on the uh, on the outside of the हर्ड और जो जो वीक होते हैं दे आर काइंड ऑफ टेकिंग उनको बीच में लेके चल रहे हो सो दिस इज लाइक दिस इज द सेम दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज द सेम फॉर सिमिलर कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर वैक्सीन वेयर वॉट इज हैपनिंग इज के जो वैक्सीनेटेड होते हैं वो सिर्फ खुद को नहीं प्रोटेक्ट कर रहे होते हैं दे आर ऑल्सो प्रोटेक्टिंग दोज हु आर नॉट वैक्सीनेटेड सो हाउ डिज दिस वर्क सो लेट्स इमेजिन दिस पॉपुलेशन Uh, uh, जिसमें कोई भी वैक्सीनेटेड नहीं है जिस रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द ब्लू कलर एंड एक कंटेजियस और इंडिविजुअल को आप इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं एंड देन यू नो एवरीबॉडी गेट्स द डिजीज द डिजीज स्प्रेड्स वेरी फास्ट ना इमेजिन अ डिफरेंट सिनेरियो वेयर येलो इज द इम्यूनाइज पॉपुलेशन ठीक है एंड दीज आर प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम द डिजीज एंड यू इंट्रोड्यूस अ कंटेजियस पर्सन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड सो वट्स है in the the immunized people the people in the yellow are breaking the chain of transmission right so they are not allowing the disease to spread such that ke jo log un jo ke unvaccinated bhi hain in color blue they are very less likely to get the disease so that's what that's what you see ke the number of red from the compare you can compare from the uh, um, from the population on the left with the number of the red with the on the population on the right so it's basically breaks the uh, 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 chain of transmission okay yeah should it uh... okay chale uh, so now the, you know i'll talk about a conceptual model to evaluate the uh, impact of introduction of the vaccine so before that uh, how how does a vac vaccine how does is a vaccine how do you before introducing a vaccine how do you make sure that it works chahe wo vaccine ho it goes for any other drug as well na uske liye kya hote hain clinical trials hote hain clinical trials mein aap kya karte hain phase 3 let's talk about phase 3 trial 
what do we do in phase three trials? So, you know, uh, a trial have, you know, uh, they would have usually have two arms. They can have more than one, one arm as well. So what would you be doing? Ek arm ko, in the context of the vaccines, ek arm ko vaccine mil rahi hogi, or dusre arm ko vaccine nahi mil rahi hogi. And then what you will uh, look uh, uh, going prospectively? You, you, you look at the incidence of the disease okay, in the vaccinated versus unvaccinated. If your vaccine works, then the incidence of the disease will be less than the incidence as compared to those who vaccine not get So this is a simple you know, uh, principle on which you evaluate uh, the uh, vac uh, vaccine and which is, uh, you know, known as, depending upon the, uh, you know, context with, where it is done, uh, efficacy of the vaccine or the effectiveness of the vaccine. Work are required. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, but that's before the introduction of the vaccine in a country's, um, uh, you know, expanded program of immunization. So what do you do after the vaccine has been introduced? No? Okay. So what choices does, uh, so aapne vaccine introduced kara diye. now you want to see ke whether it's working or not. So there's various ways to evaluate the impact of the introduction of the vaccine. And uh, what's the most, you know, uh, simplistic one that would come to your mind? Uh, there is a disease. You have vaccine introduced. Kara di. What should be the natural consequence of that? The disease should go down. Okay, the disease incidence. So, so for that, you will need to have a surveillance system established. Where you know that the people who were with us were the same. Now, we have vaccine introduced. So, it will reduce the uh, 10, uh, 20, or less. Uh, Okay. So one uh, uh, method is that. Achha, dusat, uh, you know, and then there are uh, like uh, proxy or surrogate markers for the uh, to for evaluating the impact of the vaccines. Na? Uh, uh, why would we want to use those uh, proxy markers? But it's easier to do that. Right? It's easier to do that. It's easier to do that, and it's cheaper, and you can, you know, do it in uh, in a much quicker time. Okay. For example, you know, uh, we agree that invasive pneumococcal disease kills a lot of people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but it's relatively still uncommon as compared to if you quickly want to measure the impact. So you'll probably go for, let's say, uh, uh, the uh, impact on the nasopharyngeal carriage, which is much easier to measure. Okay, so uh, so this is like the conceptual framework for evaluation, uh, evaluating uh, the impact of the vaccine, uh, which is uh, commonly known as a uh, uh, Helron model, uh, uh, named after uh, the, the epidemiologist who proposed this, Liz Helron. Uh, so what this presents is a population A and a population B. So population A is the pre-introduction population. Okay. Uh, which has not been exposed to the vaccine, right? It could either be a, a pre-introduction population or it could, e it could also be a concurrent population or a concurrent area where the vaccine has not been introduced, right? So that is your unvaccinated compartment. And then there is a population A where the vaccine has been introduced. In the population A, you know, in uh, and, and most so ha it so happens in countries like ours, ev not everybody gets vaccinated. Okay, some people will get vaccinated, and uh, some people will not get vaccinated. So, in the vaccinated group, we have you know assume that vaccine is uh, protecting. So, the vaccinated hain, wo sare protected hain, and they are represented by the gray shade here. Okay, but what about the unvaccinated? We just talked about, we saw in the previous slide that by virtue of the indirect effect, some proportion of the unvaccinated will also be protected. Not all of them, some proportion of the unvaccinated will also be protected, and th which is shown by the gray shade in the unvaccinated half. Say it? So your actual proportion which is being protected is greater than the proportion which was vaccinated. Okay? 
so uh, then you know uh, you take you take into account uh, different uh, uh, measures of vaccine vaccine effectiveness uh, there can be direct effect which is defined as when you're comparing the vaccinated versus the unvaccinated theek hai but direct effect jab aap measure kar rahe honge to it will be underestimating the actual effectiveness of the vaccine why so बिकॉज ऑफ द हर्ड इम्यूनिटी ना क्योंकि आपके कुछ लोग इनडायरेक्टली जो है वो अनवैक्सीनेटेड कंपार्टमेंट में भी प्रोटेक्टेड है सो देन यू वॉन्ट टू नो दरेक्ट इफेक्ट ऑफ द वैक्सीन सो इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट ऑफ द वैक्सीन आप कंपेयर करेंगे बिटवीन दिस कंपार्टमेंट एंड द अनवैक्सीनेटेड कंपार्टमेंट ठीक है मेजर ऑफ द इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट विच इज ये इस प्रोपोर्शन को जो प्रोटेक्शन मिल रही है by comparing it against the totally uh, unvaccinated group and then uh, uh, you have some other measures which is the total effect and the overall effect which is a comparison of uh, total effect is the comparison of uh, 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 vaccinated in the pop in the in post introduction versus the pre introduction and uh, um, an overall effect is a measure of uh, 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 protection in population a versus population b so what data did we have before the introduction of the vaccine right which guided us for the introduction of the vaccine or ya uh, 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 which guided us ke kaun si vaccine jo hai wo introduce uh, karni hai so we had this uh, 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 this surveillance system going uh, uh, working in uh, uh, you know across 18 hospitals in in southern pakistan which is the province of sindh and uh, there were 2690 children with suspected meningitis uh, that were that were enrolled theek okay? hai first of all you know think if you want to introduce a vaccine and uh, uh, you you first have to show that there is burden of the disease theek okay? hai because you know uh, you are you are taking your uh, case to a policy maker and uh, you know that they have to make decisions based based on certain data theek okay? hai so there's always a limited amount of resources available and this is you have to uh, prioritize ke kahan pe aapko paise apni kharch karne hain theek okay? hai so the policy makers are might be consulting uh, the technical experts but they uh, they seems they seems also be want to be convinced theek okay? hai so you have to show show them the data so this is the data before the introduction of the vaccines so we had out of uh, uh, close to 2600 csf samples uh, 412 were purulent uh, majority of them close to 60% were hemophilus influenza type b followed by streptococcus and uh, and a small percentage of uh, nigeria so this was this was published back in 2009 and the surveillance was being done for from 2007 8 and uh, earlier so this then as a first step led to the introduction of the hib vaccine in pakistan's uh, expanded program of immunization theek okay? hai so uh, and again pakistan was the first country in south asia to introduce the uh, uh, hib vaccine in its, in its epi uh, so then uh, so, some of the follow up work was done uh, to then serotype these uh, Uh, uh you know pneumococcal isolates which were causing the invasive disease so uh, uh these are pneumococcal serotyping which was done on 111 uh, ipd isolates and uh, you can see that two third of them or 65% are covered by the ten valent vaccine and an additional 2% is covered by the PCV13 जिसके अंदर तीन और सीरो टाइप्स मौजूद हैं 36A और 19A ठीक है सो एंड द रिमेनिंग 33% इज आर आर द नॉन वैक्सीन सीरो टाइप्स ठीक है सो सो यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स यू विल नेवर बी हैविंग लाइक अ 100% कवरेज के आपकी जो वैक्सीन अवेलेबल है वो सारी डिजीज को कवर कर रही हो राइट सो यू हैव दिस प्री वैक्सीन डाटा and we did a uh, you know on uh, on top of that we did a, a carriage survey as well and uh, identified the uh uh carriage ke andar kitna prevalent hai pneumococcus so first the big finding from that was that if you swab uh, uh infants or children under 2 year, years of age 
and uh, test them for pneumococcus, 80% of them are carrying pneumococcus in their various patterns. General population. General population. Children. Children. Okay. Adult may this is, uh, comes down to 40-50%, uh, uh, but it's very, very high in our population as compared to in a lot of Western population, for example, in pediatric population, it's about, uh, in US, it's 4-5%. to Nasopharyngeal cavity. So, 80% of our children are carrying pneumococcus in their na nasopharynx. And then we did was we serotyped them to see ke wo kitna uh, coverage hai, uh, uh, different uh, vaccine formulations. Ka. So 33% uh, were covered by uh, UPCV10, an additional close to 20% were covered by PCV13, and the remaining uh, almost 50% were non-vaccine serotypes. Okay? So a lot of non-vaccine serotypes you see here and a lot of non-PCV10 as well. Okay? Uh, so coming back to Dr. Busher's point, okay, you have to look at the you know, uh, uh, virulence and also the seriousness of the disease. So not all jokey carriage can be present here are equally uh, you know, uh, 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 you know uh, cause serious infection. So there is, and, and what you find in the carriage is not always comparable to what you see in the disease. There are some uh, serotypes which you will not see in the carriage, but they will be present in the disease uh, because of the transient nature of the carriage and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So then Pakistan introduced, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the 10 valent pneumococcal vaccine in its, in, in its EPI. Uh, in 2012, as I said earlier, uh, and it's given as a. Uh, anyone knows case schedule? Six, 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 and uh, uh, then we switched in 2021 uh, to PCV13, right? And then we'll talk about uh, uh, a little later in the in the talk uh, why what were the reasons that we switched from. Uh, ye to pre vaccine ka data hai na? Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, come to that. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is uh, from this data is from 2012. but. This data is from 2012. Okay. Okay. So uh, what, what it's important to do post vaccine surveillance as well. Because what happens is that when you vaccine introduce karte hai, to vaccine zero vaccine type zero types jo hai, wo niche chale jati hai, or jo unko non vaccine zero types hai, wo upar aa jati hai. So something which is known as zero replacement. Okay. Na? So there's, it's, there's a, you know, the competition between these uh, bacteria and the, the ecological niche that is vacated by the vaccine uh, type serotypes is taken up by the non-vaccine serotypes. So that, you know, you end up with an overall carriage of it still 80%, right? So uh, what happened in the post-vaccine uh, introduction? So post-vaccine introduction, we have talked about the vaccine introduced, kar di, to how do you measure the impact? You know? And uh, Dr. Salman said that you look at ke whether the disease has fallen or not. Okay? So uh, that's, that's one way to do it. And uh, there's another way to do it that you embed within a surveillance system a case control study design. Okay? So what you do is that you, through your surveillance, you identify cases which are, you, uh, you, you, you know, you can, uh, you confirm it to be caused by pneumococcal disease, pneumococcus, and those are the, in, those are your cases, invasive pneumococcal disease. And then you, uh, you know, select appropriate controls and compare the vaccination status between the two. Okay? You have cases hai of uh, uh, invasive pneumococcal disease ke, and then you enroll healthy controls on a specific criteria and then you compare the vaccination status of both. So, you know, you would naturally expect that the uh, uh, IPD wale cases honge, they, are, they would mostly be unvaccinated as compared to uh, healthy uh, uh, controls. 
So this is exactly then what we did with this case control uh, uh, analysis uh, over a period of uh, uh, two to three years. And uh, what we saw here as, uh, first of all, okay, during that long period, the number of the cases has declined. Uh, we could only manage to enroll 24 cases. And, uh, uh, you know, the one way to statistically compensate for that uh, many a times in these epidemiological studies is that you enroll more controls than the cases, usually in a ratio of one is to four to, uh, to improve statistical efficiency. So you, uh, we enrolled 135 controls and then we calculated vaccine uh, effectiveness for the three doses of pneumococcal vaccine or which was in this case was PCB10. So what is the uh, vaccine effectiveness that you see here? For the three doses of vaccine effectiveness, the effect estimate is or the point estimate is 82.3. Unadjusted and adjusted estimate is 81.9. Adjusted means that you, you have adjusted for a lot of other potential confounders, etc. So, uh, but one thing you see is that, you know, the confidence interval is very wide. Huh? That's, you know, that's a consequence of because we had a very small sample size. cases, you know, you cannot artificially increase the size of the cases. Huh? So cases, that's a good thing. Uh, uh, you know, Statistical efficiency is a secondary thing then. <laughs> so as long as the point estimate is in the right direction, which it is, is showing 82% effectiveness uh, to, uh, against uh, uh, IPD. Uh, uh, but you for because of the sample size, the, uh, the confident so interval is. These 24 cases, how long was the time? It was two to three years approximately. I don't exactly recall. So th then, you know, in the post-introduction era, we also looked at, you know, because the same reason that they talked about it easier to uh, now compare 24 cases over a period of two to three years versus 80% normal carriage. So but you can enroll in the There's So you don't have to worry about, you know, 24 uh, uh, invasive pneumococcal disease. It doesn't tell you the exact same information and you're not interested, re actually interested in decreasing the carriage, you're interested in decreasing the disease, okay? but it gives you a proxy measure and then you can draw there, then there are mathematical models based on which you can uh, draw inferences uh, 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 from carriage data for the disease data. So we did this in a rural setting in Pakistan among children uh, two years of age and below uh, for four years from 2014 to 2018. And uh, uh, our objectives were to describe the vaccine types and the non-vaccine type carriage and uh, uh, describe the vaccine type carriage by vaccination status, which is known as your direct effect and uh, the compare vaccine type carriage with the pre-introduction carriage जो के हमारे पास वो uh, 2012 का डाटा था उसी एरिया से 2012 का हमारे पास डाटा था which was the uh, pre-introduction data which served as our population B ठीक है unvaccinated or the pre-introduction and uh, from uh, from that we were able to estimate the indirect total or total and overall effect the vaccines and then we uh, described the social demographic demographic and clinical characteristics uh, that were associated with uh, the vaccine type carriage and uh, the antimicrobial resistance pattern. This was carried uh, out in two union councils of uh, uh, Machiari uh, on top of an ongoing demographic surveillance system from se October 2014 to September 2018. So uh, 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 we used a smartphone ba based uh, app for data collection and uh, data was collected on uh, household demographic, recent clinical history, uh, very importantly, vaccination record and a, a brief clinical exam was uh, also performed and nasopharyngeal specimens were also collected because we wanted to test for what? The pneumococcal carriage. So uh, uh, this was, uh, uh, you know, uh, the lab methodology that was followed. The samples was collected. They were stored in uh, 2 to 8 degrees centigrade uh, and transported in 2 to 8 degrees centigrade uh, uh, daily from Matiari to 
Karachi, and they were collected in a in a way that the you know the first sample which was collected reached the lab within twelve within twelve hours, right? So it was uh, uh, you know the th it was structured in in that way. So uh, you know the samples could it would either be directly placed uh, into minus eighty or they could be cultured depending upon ke, uh, how the lab uh, uh, workload was going. And uh, uh, they were uh, 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 after culture on a positive isolate. Uh, in case of a positive isolate, we did a sequential PCR. Okay. So what a sequential PCR does is that you have this plate, which in which you have 40 most common serotypes. Okay. And and you start from one end, and these are distributed over eight plates. Okay. You start from one end. And जहाँ पे वो zero type positive आ जाती है, तो वहाँ पे वो test stop हो जाता है. So uh, you know you 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 can then uh, infer that this is the zero type which is present in this particular sample. ठीक है? इसकी थोड़ी सी कुछ limitations हैं. Uh, the first of uh, being that you can only detect one zero type at a time, and there could be more than one zero type in a sample. But you know uh, we can have assume that you know, uh, it's 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 enough knowing that the first one is the most important one. And then, uh, this, this is then, the positive one, then it is, it's again confirmed on a mono, monoplex PCR for uh, single serotypes. So these were the sample science calculations that we did for, you know, certain achieve a certain level of pe uh, power. I don't think we have to go into the details of that, but what we needed was around 780 children per year for four years, okay? And uh, uh, we came up with certain definitions uh, for the analysis. Vaccine type serotypes, we said that the 10 serotypes PCV10 in the PCV10 are in the Non-vaccine serotypes were all other serotypes, okay? Which are not present in. There were PCV13 specific serotypes, which are the three serotypes, which on top of PCV10. PCV13 can be present hoti and these are 3, 6A and 19A. Uh, we defined vaccinated as uh, kids who had received all three doses of PCV10, whether from a verbal recall or, uh, or card verified. And we calculated po point estimates of uh, uh, vaccine type and non-vaccine types and, uh, uh, carriage. And these are just the formula for uh, the uh, direct, indirect, total and overall effect, which are derived from the same picture that I showed earlier, which is making comparison between the two co uh, different compartments. Okay? So for the direct effect, the comparison is between vaccine type carriage in fully vaccinated. Okay? Jo population B thi, uske andar aapka jo fully vaccinated wala part tha, divided by vaccine type carriage in the unvaccinated. Usi population ke andar jo zero dose wale bachche. Okay? Population B ke andar. So you're comparing the vaccinated. So here you have this population ke andar indirect effect maujood hai, jo ke incorporate hua hai, to your direct effect will be an underestimate of the actual effect of the vaccine. Okay? So then uh, your indirect effect is your vaccine type carriage in the unvaccinated in population B or the post-introduction population compared with what was the carriage in the pre-introduction population, where there was no vaccinated. Pre-introduction pre means vaccine available in the thi, so no vaccinated. Na? And uh, so on and so forth, the formula for total uh, and overall effect. And these are uh, some of the uh, you know, regression assumptions that we applied. Uh, I'll move on to the results. So we approached uh, uh, more than 4,000 households and uh, you know, uh, consented and enrolled and collected samples from 3,140 uh, children. And uh, so the reason being, ke, you know, uh, 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 in uh, uh, you know, in epidemiological study design for again for statistical reasons, uh, you. Uh, uh, observations with a how within a households are more likely to be correlated with each other. So statistical analysis ki jo, uh, uh, most of the analysis hum karte hai, unki assumption ye hoti hai ke the observations are independent from each other. 
ठीक है सो बट विद इन हाउस होल्ड इफ वन चाइल्ड इज कैरिंग देर इज अ stronger likelihood that the other child will also be carrying mm-hmm. so those obse- those uh, two children are not two independent data points mm-hmm. right so we like to keep this uh, in de- uh, uh, you know uh, data points independent so uh, so this is the uh, then the vaccine coverage over the period of these four years and uh, uh, you know we had to work really hard in these communities to raise the vaccine coverage over this period and you can see that the vaccine coverage in the beginning uh, 2004 and the first year of the study was 41% and by the time we uh, uh, you know finished the study the vaccine coverage uh, had risen up to for the three doses of pneumococcal vaccines to uh, nearly uh, uh, 70% uh, and this was a statistically significant increase uh but as again you know uh in lmic settings like ours you know uh, those vaccines were not actually given at 6 10 and 14 so uh, uh weeks uh, 6 10 and 14 weeks you can see the median time where these vaccines was given for example the first dose was being given at the median uh, time of 9.4 weeks 15 20 so they were like a month on an average month delayed that also changes uh that has you know its own effect in terms of you know transmission and everything taking your company you are analyzing your outcome so uh, population uh, level effect pe jo hai wo to aapke average out ho jate hai effects na theek hai so but you you what we then uh, try to adjust is we uh, you know compare with age appropriate vaccination versus unvaccinated karte na अच्छा तो ये तीन हजार एक सौ चालीस में से हमारे पास ट्वेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी जो है वो सैंपल्स पॉजिटिव आए थे एंड अगेन यू सी देर इज द रेड वन इज द लार्ज ब्लॉक ऑफ द ऑफ द पी सी बी टेन स्पेसिफिक जीरो टाइप्स एंड देन पी सी बी थर्टीन जो है वो आपके पास कितनी मौजूद हैं यू सी सिक्स ए नाइनटीन ए आर द हाइस्ट नंबर ऑफ आइसोलेट सेट वर प्रेजेंट एंड देन द रिमेनिंग आर द नॉन वैक्सीन जीरो and uh, uh, this is the vaccine type carriage over the period of 4 uh, years this is the pcv10 uh, carriage and you can see that it is declined from 19.9% in the beginning to 13.2% towards the end of the study and this is just the stratification uh, uh, according to the two age groups now this is interesting you see कि हमने डिफरेंट सीरो टाइप्स की बात की थी ना टेन टेन सीरो टाइप्स थी पीसीवी टेन के अंदर ना सो द इफेक्ट वाज नॉट एक सेम फॉर अक्रॉस ऑल द बैक फॉर ऑल द सीरो टाइप्स ना व्हिच कुड बी यू नो इवन विद दिस ह्यूज सैंपल साइज कुड बी अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ द स्मॉलर नंबर ऑफ आइसोलेट्स क्योंकि फॉर दे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ओवर अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सीरो टाइप्स बट वॉट वी सॉ वॉज देर वॉज a uh, significant decline in serotype 23f 6b 9a 9b and 19f and not so much in other serotypes the last three one 36a and 19a are the one which are present in pcv pcv 30 and what do you see there increase hua hai last two mein so i wouldn't say ke 6a increase hua hai it has like kind of remained the same plateau but the 19a is you know is what we are interested in you can see a you can see a remarkable you know increase in the proportion of so this is what we are talking about uh, zero replacement so if you introduce a vaccine vaccine type wali kam ho jati hai unki jagah jo hai wo non vaccine type zero type stay rehti hai theek hai so and uh, <laughs> बिल्कुल सो इट्स एंड दिस इज इफ आई कुड ओनली सी द टाइटल या सो या दिस इज यू नो सिंपल दिस इज वॉट यू वुड एक्सपेक्ट द वैक्सीन टाइप कैरेज वॉज लोअर इन डोज यू रिसीव थ्री डोजेज वर्सेज यू नो जीरो डोज सो यू नो बेसिकली और वैक्सीन इज वर्किंग जिनको वैक्सीन मिली है उनके अंदर कैरेज जो है वो कम है एज कम्पेयर टू दो जिनको वैक्सीन नहीं मिली है एंड सो देन वी 
ओके डिड नॉट वांट दिस ठीक है सो सो नाउ वी वेंट ऑन जो हमने अपना मॉडल जो शुरू में दिखाया था हेलोरॉन मॉडल उसके बेस पे हमने जो है वो डिफरेंट मेजर्स हमने कैलकुलेट किए ठीक है सो वी वेंट ऑन टू कैलकुलेट द डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट व्हिच इज देन द कंपैरिजन ऑफ द द वैक्स किसका कंपैरिजन है ये डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट vaccinated versus unvaccinated in post introduction or population a theek hai so i will highlight it by uh, you, you know uh, red color here so this is what the comparison is theek hai direct affair is comparison between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated so humne jo apna mathematical formula jo fir shuru mein dikhaya tha usko humne apply kiya to you get a direct effect of 34% theek hai एंड नीचे उसके जो है वो उसका कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल डिस्क्राइब हुआ हुआ है सो इसकी इंटरप्रिटेशन क्या है इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज दैट वी सॉ अ 34 परसेंट रिडक्शन इन वैक्सीन टाइप कैरेज इन द वैक्सीनेटेड ग्रुप कंपेयर टू अनवैक्सीनेटेड ग्रुप इन द पोस्ट इंट्रोडक्शन फेज सही है एंड दिस इज योर डायरेक्ट इफेक्ट ठीक है लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट सो अगेन वी कम बैक टू अवर हेलरॉन मॉडल and what you see so what is the indirect effect comparison of yahan pe vaccinated post what is the comparison here yeah kis cheez ka comparison between what and what between both vaccinated post wo to aapko sab jagah maujood hai na so we have aap so what we said was that this was a comparison between the unvaccinated which was the pre vaccinated प्री इंट्रोडक्शन वैक्सीन जो कि हमारे पास डाटा मौजूद था यू कूड ओनली डू इट इफ यू हैड प्रायर डाटा ठीक है सो यू कैन नॉट डू दीज कैलकुलेशन इफ यू डोंट हैव प्रायर डाटा ठीक है सो वी हैड अनवैक्सीनेटेड डाटा प्री इंट्रोडक्शन एंड देन वी कंपेयर इट विथ वॉट द अनवैक्सीनेटेड ठीक है एंड दैट गिव्स यू एन एस्टिमेट ऑफ द इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट एंड दिस वॉट वी गेट इज दैट इनडायरेक्ट इफेक्ट इज इज फोर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट प्रोडक्शन in vaccine type carriage in unvaccinated group in the post introduction phase compared to the pre introduction which is and do you see something uh, surprising here what is that indirect effect is more than the direct effect theek hai so you know that's you know that's the beauty of how the vaccines work is that they are protecting the indirect effect or the herd effect is actually more is uh, uh, proportionally more than the number of people that you are vaccinated theek okay? hai and these are you know i will go into much detail these were like total effect this was a comparison of vaccinated versus unvaccinated and then there was uh, 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 this overall effect which was a comparison between uh, uh, this uh, post introduction versus the pre introduction population theek okay? hai uh, these were some of the predictors that we uh, looked at uh for the uh, uh for the carriage and uh, of course uh, uh, you know vaccine was one of the protective factor uh, uh we had a adjusted odds ratio of 0.6 which translates into 40% vaccine efficacy for decreasing the vaccine type carriage okay and which for uh, for for an outcome like carriage is is a pretty good vaccine uh, uh, efficacy uh, effectiveness estimate okay there were other uh, factors some of those were you know uh, uh, associated with the carriage but this is you know something uh, more important that i would like to focus on this is the antimicrobial resistance pattern that you see over the study period for uh, different uh, uh, and i should move this for you to be able to see so you see for different uh, uh antibiotics and uh, what do you appreciate here yahan pe kya nazar aa raha hai sabse ek to achhi baat hai ki penicillin se everything is susceptible theek hai so and and uh, but the concerning thing is was of course you know cotrimoxazole ek to ye hai ki universally jo hai wo resistance hai but you know for me the most concerning thing here is why is the erythromycin yes ठीक है, so uh, the erythromycin आपका जो है वो resistance जो है वो increase हो रहा है, so uh, any any hypothesis why that would be? Hmm? 
तो इसी इस पीरियड के दौरान इस्तेमाल बढ़ गया उसका वी डोंट हैव एनी प्रूफ टू सी डाटा वी वर नॉट कलेक्टिंग दैट डाटा सो वॉट कुड बी द अदर पॉसिबल एक्सप्लेनेशन कौन सा सीरो तो 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 It was like हमेशा से उसको 90% जो है वो resistant है था तो अब जब ये this is like aggregated data I I have put slides which show the disaggregated by the zero types but you know that will be too much deep dive. Attention because it was not very prevalent in the. It was not it was not being reflected in the population because zero type 19A was low. जब zero type 19A बढ़ गया तो साथ साथ आपको जो है वो उसकी erythropoietin resistance क्या बता दें ठीक है पॉपुलेशन Three doses were 40% effective. Uh, PCV13 specific serotypes and uh, uh, 60A and 19A contributed to significant burden of carriage, uh, and uh, there was an increase in the prevalence of uh, uh, 19A in post-introduction phase. Uh, so, uh, and and we we talked about already talked about the uh, erythromycin. So uh, you know uh, you know. कोई भी डिसीजन मेकिंग के अंदर लॉर ऑफ फैक्टर्स गोइंग टू प्ले सो दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द फैक्टर्स विच यू नो प्लेड इन टू द डेटा डेट वॉज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस स्टडी डेट लेट टू द स्विच फ्रॉम पी सी वी टेन टू पी सी वी थर्टीन देर आर लॉर ऑफ यू नो लॉजिस्टिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एंड द मार्केट कमिटमेंट रिलेटेड इशूज ऑल्सो देर आर ऑलवेज इन्वॉल्व बट यू नो दिस इज सम ऑफ द डेटा विच गाइडेड स्विच फ्रॉम पी सी वी टेन टू पी सी वी थर्टीन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड वी स्विच uh and uh, and now moving forward uh that was 19a 19 3 6a and 19a the 31 31 31 okay so uh and then moving forward what we can do is ke ye hamare paas jo data hai isko hum uh, use kar sakte hain to compare ke post pcv 13 effect jo hai wo kuch aaya ke nahi aaya and we have done that work so i'll uh, you know uh talk about that this is just the publications from uh, this or extract the acknowledgement and that then the now the post pcv10 to post pcv13 switch so we did what we did was that we uh, carried on a carried a follow up survey in the same area and uh, this time around instead of doing the pcr zero typing uh, because you know our labs were evolving at the same time we were acquiring uh, newer technologies so we 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 went for genomic sequencing which gives you a lot of additional information as opposed to uh, only the zero typing it gives you uh, it can it can identify more than the limited 40 serotypes jo ke aapke paas panel pe maujood hoti hain it can give you the amr pattern as well and it can give you a uh, geographical clustering as well so it gives you a lot of more information as opposed to only the serotype so this is just the uh, slide describing the follow up you extract the dna uh, you prepare the library you put it into a sequencer and you uh, there are some bioinformatics pipelines available you use to uh, uh, come up with the uh, serotyping in different data and now uh, you can see here a so this is then I, i as i said we we put we compared the data from the uh, last year of the previous study theek okay? hai so you see pcb10 serotypes 13.2% we saw a further decline over the period jo ke kam ho ke wo 7% pe aa gayi and pcb13 specific 16% se aadhi ho gayi to 8% percent. theek hai so you now you, you, you what we what is we're doing here is we're doc, documenting the impact of pcb13 and that's largely because of the effect on pcb uh, uh, serotype 19a and 6a 